Sure. This is tutorial number 16, and it covers how to cut an object using the coil feature within Autodesk Inventor. Now to start off, let's open up a brand new part file. Let's click File, click New, click Standard, click OK. Now what we need to do first is create our part that we're going to cut using the coil feature. So let's click Center Point Circle, and let's draw a, a circle, and we're going to make a cylinder. So click Return, click Extrude, and let's extrude it up 100 millimeters. Click OK. Now rotate it around and you can see our cylinder. Now open up the planes and let's click the YZ plane and we're going to do our sketching that we need for the coil on there. So let's click sketch and let's click circle. So we're going to use a circle to cut into it. So let's make a circle up there and then click line and the line is going to be the path or the axis. Click return, click coil. Now it's already chosen the profile, now we just have to click the axis. And we're able to choose cut here, so let's click cut. And for the coil size, let's make the pitch 20 and we'll make four, five, five revolutions. Click OK. And we've cut away using the coil feature. Now this is one way to make a thread if you wanted to or if you need to notch or make a special design in there. Now instead of just a circle we can use any shape. Last time we used a square in this coil feature, this time let's try a triangle. So let's right click on the coil, click edit sketch, let's zoom into the circle here, delete it, and this time let's use a line and we'll draw in a triangle. Click update and now we've cut out into the grooves using the triangle. So we're able to change any profile to change what the cut is going to look like. And that concludes our tutorial on how to use the coil to cut within Autodesk Inventor.